this is laboratory one. Your aim is to design this circuit, okay? You're specifically going to address key learning outcomes of demonstrating the use of expertise in CAD and critically evaluate circuitry in an engineering problem. Specification, VCC is 10 volts, VC 4.5, ICQ 1 milliamp. A couple of parameters for the transistor here are given. Design everything on paper, put the numbers in. Run some simulations, see what happens. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to flick now to PowerPoint. Here we have PowerPoint, and I'm just going to go to a screen annotation mode. So, we have our circuit up here. So the first thing we need to note with this design is we need to look at these nodes here. We need to look at the current coming down for the bias, how much current is going into the base, and how much current comes down here. We're given this parameter here, IC, so we know that value. We also know the value of beta, therefore we can calculate IB. General rule of thumb, IR1 should be equal to 10 IB. Okay, that means under Kirchhoff's current law, the current coming down here, 1 IB there, 10 IB here, 11 IB. So basically, we've now got nearly all of our equations. We know this value here, VCE. So, number one, first component I'm going to calculate is RC, because we know all the values. Second component I'm going to calculate will be uh, this value here, R1, in the bias, and then I'm going to calculate R2. You need to be read all animals. Not now, Christopher. Huh? Okay. Yeah, right. Need to play the game. You need to be read all and I'm moving on. So let's now have a quick calculation. We need to know that RC is equal to VCC minus VCE all divided by IC. So in this case it would be 10 volts minus 4.5 volts divided by 1 milliamp. Okay, which uh, ballpark should be 5.5K. Okay, there's our first calculation. We now calculate um, R1, uh, which is the lower resistance. So that's going to equal, well, <coughs> we need the volt drop across it, and we need uh, the value of current flowing in it. So that's VR1 over IR1. So let's split them into two. VR1, if you look in the Kirchhoff's loop, is actually equal to VBE. So you can put an assumption in of 0.7 volts, or you can say that VBE is equal to VT, natural log, IC over IS. Okay, if we do that, we do 25 millivolts, natural log, um, 1 times 10 to the minus 3 milliamps, and one of the parameters you were given was 14.34 times 10 to the minus 15. Okay, that comes out at 0.624. Okay, notice that undergraduate students would generally use this. We're going to start to do a little bit more detail. Right, let's calculate what IR1 is. That's going to be equal to IC divided by beta. And again, the rule of thumb, multiplied by 10. So in this case, we're talking about um, 1 times 10 to the minus 3 times 10 divided by 160, which equals, okay, just nipped away to a calculator, that actually equals 62.5 microamps. So now what we need to do, R1 is equal to 0.624 volts divided by 62.5 microamps, which equals, Again, nipping away to a quick calculation. Okay, so the calculation there is actually equal to put some numbers 9.984 kilo ohms. Okay, the only other resistor now to find is the value of R2, which is the upper bias resistor. So again, we'll move on.
Okay, so now here we're going to calculate R2. R2 should be equal to VCC minus VBE, all divided by 11 times IC divided by beta. Simplification, beta VCC minus VBE, all over 11 times IC. Okay, so if we put all the numbers into that, 160, 10, 0.624, okay, all divided by 11 times 10 to the minus 3. Okay, put that into a calculator, we'll see what we get. Okay, we have a number back for that one now, so, there my pen, I've calculated that as 136, Point three seven eight kilo ohms. So now we've got all values calculated and we can see how it works. So there's the end of that tutorial. Let's see what happens. Put all those numbers into uh, your tool and you should be finished. Okay. I'm going to keep the annotations of this and then I'll save them for you for later.